Hello everyone, Sam CFI. We're coming back to land at Lincoln Airport now. We're coming in at 2,300 feet. Let's take a break for a second. Go to the drawing board. Alright, so we have the runway here, runway 33 and 15. And this is the traffic pattern. It's a rectangular course around the runway. You always want to enter the traffic pattern. There's two primary ways that are really accepted. The really primary way is the 45 degree entry to the downwind leg. Simple as that, you just come in at a 45 degree angle to the downwind leg. This is the downwind leg because we're la if, if we were landing on 1.5, that would mean uh, we have a little windsock over here and the wind is blowing into it to indicate that the wind is coming from the southeast area. So you're going downwind. Then you turn base and then you turn final. And if you stay in the traffic pattern, you'll be taking off on the departure leg and turning left for crosswind. And then left to down when you can just continue this little racetrack pattern all the way around. If you have to do a go around, or if you're entering on the upwind as your procedure, the upwind leg is just to the right side of the runway so that you can look down and uh, see the runway, see the traffic that you might be going around for. So that's the upwind leg. Usually once you clear the end of the runway, you can just turn uh, crosswind and then downwind, keeping out for traffic obviously, keeping an eye out for traffic. Um, and so we're going to listen to the automated weather observation system at Lincoln and figure out which runway to land on based off the winds. And then you're going to fly the pattern at traffic pattern altitude, which is listed in the publications. Usually it's 1,000 feet AGL or 800 feet AGL. At Lincoln it's 1,000 feet AGL and the airport elevation is 121. So if you add 1,000 to that, that's going to be 1121. Since it's below 50 on this portion of the number, we'll round down. So we'll fly the downwind leg at 1,100 feet. And then we'll use specific power settings uh, at certain points. Now when we come a beam the numbers, which is when we're at this point in downwind, this is where we normally reduce power and add flaps and start slowing down to about 90 miles an hour, then we'll start descending down. Once we're about 45 degrees off the end of the runway, you make your base turn, and then you look both ways for traffic and turn final. You always want to look both ways for traffic before every turn in the traffic pattern. Okay, so we're coming up to Lincoln. It's over here. Now, if we have to get down the traffic pattern altitude, we're going to have to descend, but let's get the weather first. Take it over to COM2, 2425. 0058 Zulu 316 at 10 So I put the wind direction up here Okay, the altimeter is set Put that back to count 1 You see we have 316 So it's favoring runway 33 Right now I'm inbound on a 45-4-3-3. Now we have to get down a pattern out to do though, so let's reduce the power and get the nose down. Typically want to be at pattern altitude when you're coming in on the 45. So then the radio call for this is going to be Lincoln traffic, Cherokee 0 9 or whiskey, inbound 45-3-3 Lincoln. So that lets them know that we're coming in on the 45 for 3-3. And we're descending down nicely. Got a little high there at the end. Like I said, you want to be at traffic pattern altitude when you're coming in on the 45. Be looking around for traffic. And uh, the new Highway 65 is not quite in the sim yet. Took a while to get on the sectional charts. Alright, so we're coming in. Let's go ahead and uh, make a downwind turn right about now. And we're coming up in pattern altitude. We'll get the nose to level flight pitch attitude. Use it for this airplane. It's use about 2000 RPM on the downwind leg. 2300 RPM in the Cherokee 140. Lincoln traffic, Cherokee 09er whiskey, entering left downwind 33 Lincoln. That's how that radio call sounds. So now we're flying 1100 feet. Right around 90 knots or so. That's what most of the GA traffic is doing. Now we have to do the landing checklist. Fuel pump on, landing light on, 
Mixture full rich, seat belts, fuel proper tank. Landing checklist is complete. Now we're coming up on a beam the numbers, 3-3. Three, three. So this is where we're going to reduce the power to about 1500 RPM. Make sure we're in the white arc, put the first notch of flaps down, hold the nose level, let it slow down to 90, there it is, let the airplane descend at 90 miles per hour, and give it some nose up trim to help hold it at 90 miles per hour. Give it a little bit more power. Yeah, decent amount of nose up trim. Okay, we're looking at the runway. Coming up on 45 degrees off the end of the runway, so let's turn base. Looking both ways. Second notch of flaps. Let it slow down to 85 miles per hour. Lincoln traffic, Cherokee 09er whiskey. Turning left base, 33 Lincoln. Okay, now we're about 85 miles an hour. Turn until we're perpendicular. Now remember the wind is coming from the left, so crab just a little bit, just like that. Wings level both ways for traffic. It will start turning final. Lincoln traffic, Cherokee 09er Whiskey, turning final 33 Lincoln. Now we'll go full flaps, let the airplane slow down to 80 miles per hour. And you see with these speed changes and flap changes, we keep the same descending pitch attitude out the window. So again, more visual stuff. And lots of nose up trim. Every time you're changing the air speeds and adding flaps, you have to trim up. You should always be able to just let go of the controls, and it flies nice. Okay, so now pitch for airspeed and power for altitude. You remember that from slow flight? Right now I'm using the numbers 3-3 three, three as an aim point. You see they're in the lower center portion of the windscreen. We're getting a little low on airspeed, so we'll add a little bit of power and just keep the pitch angle going down. That'll get the speed up. There we go. Now we can reduce it. And now we got the runway made, go power to idle. And now you want to scan down the end of the runway, use your peripheral vision to see the runway coming up at you. This is called the round out. Now we're just holding it off, holding it off, holding up, get that nose nice and high. Yoke all the way back now that we're down to the ground. And the nose wheel touches down nicely. Then you would uh, get off the runway, clean it up. But we can do some traffic patterns. So that'll be We'll just keep doing that right now. Let's do another lap in the pattern to finish off traffic pattern. So we got the upwind and cr uh, departure leg and crosswind. Just want to make sure you trim it out. And we'll give a radio call as we're applying power. Lincoln traffic, Cherokee 09er Whiskey, taking off 33, three, close traffic Lincoln. Okay, we got full power. RPM's good. Engine gauge is in the green. Airspeed is alive. There's 65, let's get the nose up, right rudder. Now once we get off the ground, keep the nose down a little bit, let it accelerate to your VY speed of 85. Makes it for a cleaner, smoother takeoff. And you start getting that nose up a little bit more. And we forgot to raise the flaps. Alright, so the flaps are up. Do that on the right. Alright, so now we're pitching up. What cued me into that was that we were barely getting 85 miles an hour with uh, the pitch attitude that should look like this, but it was more nose down. So again, another, another learning moment. Now we can turn crosswind when we're within 300 feet of the traffic pattern altitude. So if, we're, if that's 1100 feet, then 800 feet is within 300 feet. So we look both ways for traffic, and we'll turn crosswind. Lincoln traffic, Cherokee 09er Whiskey, turning left crosswind, 33 Lincoln. About 20 to 30 degrees of bank. We're at 1100 feet, get the nose down. Level flight pitch attitude. Power back to about 2000. Roll wings level for crosswind. Look both ways for traffic and turn downwind. Lincoln traffic, Cherokee 09er Whiskey, turning left downwind, 33 Lincoln. Get that nose up a bit. Alright, now we're coming back to the pattern. We've always been in the pattern. So when you enter the pattern, you enter at that 45. Staying in the pattern, you're just flying the rectangular course. Okay, 1100 feet, about 2000 RPM. Okay, let's do the landing checklist. Fuel pump on, landing light on, mixture rich, seat belts, fuel proper tank. About the same in each tank so far.
Alright, so for this landing, we're going to do a short field landing. So our touchdown zone... Let's pause this. Our touchdown zone is going to be the beginning of the third center line stripe. And you have a 200 foot gap to do it in, to touch down. So here to the beginning of the fourth stripe. Each center line stripe is 120 feet long. The gap is 80 feet. That's 200 feet. We're going to aim for the first stripe. So the approach is going to be all the same. The main difference is uh, that you just want to make sure you make it to that spot. So you'll see when we get down there. So now we'll reduce power about 15. First notch flaps. Hold the nose level. Let it slow down to 90 miles an hour. Now let it descend at 90. Give it some nose up trip to help maintain it. A little bit more power. See when you reduce the 15 initially and then you slow down, the less air over the prop slows the prop down. It's like a windmill. Okay, we're 45 off. Look both ways for traffic. Let's turn base. Second notch flaps. Lincoln traffic. Cherokee 0 Niner Whiskey. Turning left base. 3 3 Lincoln. Letting it slow down to 85 miles per hour. Keeping that pitch attitude the same. Giving it a little bit of crab because of the wind. Looking both ways for traffic. Turning final. Lincoln traffic, Cherokee zero nine or whiskey, turning final three three Lincoln. Go full flaps now. Let it slow down to eighty miles per hour. And uh, we want to get it down to seventy six miles per hour for the short field landing. That's what's recommended in the POH or pilot operating handbook. And give it more nose up trim. Keeping the aim point, the number uh, or in this case the first center line stripe, in a lower center portion of the windscreen. See, it's not sitting right near the cowling. It's not sitting up top. Lower center portion of the windscreen. There's 76. We got a good glide slope going. We got good airspeed. So what I was saying before, pitch for airspeed, power for altitude. If you start finding yourself slow, you're going to find yourself pitching the nose up to compensate. So that's a good indication that you're getting slow and low and getting close to a stall. So what you got to do is add power, lots of power, get the nose down, or keep it going down at least. And that gets your airspeed back. Then you can reduce the power. So again, we want 76 crossing the first center line stripe. Okay, there's 76. So we're across the stripe. We'll just keep the power to idle. And we're going to float down to the third center line stripe. Now we're just going to kind of relax it a bit. Flaps up, maximum braking, start pulling that yoke back. That shifts the weight to the main wheels. And there we go. Just don't screech the tires. Don't skid the tires. That's how you do a short field landing. Okay, now we're going to do a short field takeoff. Short field takeoff, let's get the trim reset. and we're going to add 25 degrees of flaps and now we're going to add full power check the engine gauges everything's good let's release we're going to keep the, the yoke neutral we're going to go down the runway till we get to 60 miles per hour pitch back and now let the nose down for 75 miles per hour that's VX your best ankle of climb that gets you over the obstacle in the shortest amount of distance. Okay, we're over the obstacle. And we have a positive rate of climb, flaps up a notch. Positive rate, flaps up. Now let it accelerate to 85 miles per hour. And that's that. Now we just pitch it up a little bit more to maintain our VY speed. And I'm just going to start cutting this in early for the sake of keeping the video a little bit shorter. Lincoln traffic, Cherokee 09er Whiskey, turning left crosswind, 3 3 Lincoln. Okay, right rudder, right aileron to roll out of the turn. Looking both ways, turning downwind, getting the nose down.
Lincoln traffic, Cherokee 09 or Whiskey, turning left downwind, 33 Lincoln. Now we reduce the power. A little bit of left rudder while we're turning. Now right rudder, right aileron to roll out of it. Let's do the landing checklist. Landing light on, fuel pump on, mixture rich, seat belts, fuel proper tank. This next landing is going to be a soft field landing. So like we're landing on grass. The power up a little bit. So the only thing we're going to do differently is we're going to carry just a little bit of power once we get right over the runway. So let's make this approach a little bit different as well. Power to idle, full flaps. I'm showing you that there's a multitude of ways you can approach the runway. Okay, we'll keep about uh, 75 to 80 miles an hour. Lincoln traffic Cherokee 09 or Whiskey turning left base short approach 33 Lincoln. I say short approach so that they know I'm tighter in. Looking both ways for traffic, keeping the airspeed up. Lincoln traffic Cherokee 09 or Whiskey turning final 33 Lincoln. So it doesn't matter how we get to the runway, if you're doing a short or soft field landing, what matters is what you do right over the runway. Right rudder, right aileron to roll out of the turn, neutralize, trim. So we got our speed, coming up to the aim point, 3-3, do the round out, let it slow down a little bit, hold it off, now give it some power, just a little bit. Now, reduce the power to idle and get the yoke all the way back. And see, we held the nose off. The nose went off as long as we could. That is a soft field landing. Uses up a little bit more runway, but you want to make it as soft as you can. And you want to keep that nose wheel off of the grass or dirt as long as you can when you're landing on a non-paved surface. Now we'll do a soft field takeoff. Let's reset the trim. Two notches of flaps, 25 degrees. So what we're going to do for this one is going to get the yoke all the way back. We're going to let the airplane take off as soon as it can, and then keep it in ground effects. Lincoln traffic, Cherokee 09 or Whiskey, taking off 33, close traffic, Lincoln. Now, don't let it completely tail strike it, but let it take off soon. Okay, we're off the ground, start getting the nose down. Now, in the rear airplane, this takes a lot of nose down pressure to do this. A lot of nose forward pressure. Accelerate to VY, 85. Pitch up. Flaps up a notch. And you see when you retract the flaps, it has a little nose up pitching moment. So be aware of that. And you get the flaps up again when you have that positive rate of climb. And we're just going up at 85 miles an hour. So that's all there is to that. Now there's two more types of landings to talk about that's going to be a crosswind landing and a forward slip to land. But I'm just going to spin this thing right around. Let's get another wind check. Three one six at ten. So this is supposed to be a little bit of a crosswind for runway 33. Landing checklist, fuel pump, landing light, mixture rich, seat belts, fuel proper tank. Okay, we're at uh, 1100 feet. Reduce power. So we're going to combine the two lessons into this landing. So a forward slip to land. We kind of showed it in the emergency, but that's when we're, when we're going to slip the airplane. So slipping is like this, where you're kind of flying a little bit sideways. Skidding is when you're turning and using too much rudder in the turn, that's a skid. So to do a forward slip, we'll stay high. Let's start turning base now. Lincoln traffic, Cherokee 09 at Whiskey, turning left base, 33 Lincoln. Always making your radio calls and checking for traffic. Put in uh, some flaps here. You can also just do it normally to stay a little bit high, just turn base sooner. Lincoln traffic, Cherokee 09 or Whiskey, turning final 33 Lincoln. 
So just your normal approach to stay high. So now we're a little bit high. What you want to do for the slip is first get the power to idle, because it doesn't make sense to slip with power. And you want to note the direction of the wind. Wind is coming from the left a little bit. So we're going to get the left wing down. So we use right rudder. And the amount of right the amount of rudder you use controls the descent rate. So that really that really gives us drag. And use ailerons to control drift. Then when you're ready to get out of it, just center, you know, neutralize your pedals. And now there's a little bit of a crosswind. You can't really tell, but it kind of makes a nose once want to go left. So what we do for a crosswind, you have, you have to use rudder to straighten the nose wheel. So a little bit of right rudder and a little bit of left aileron. See those controls? To keep the plane going straight down the center line and not drift off the side. See a little left aileron there. Just like that. So that's how we do a forward slip with a little bit of a crosswind landing. And with that, that completes all of the takeoffs and landings. Let's go ahead and uh, park at one of these hangars and shut down. So see, we don't touch the flaps, we don't touch anything until we get off the runway. A little bit of back pressure, hold that yoke back to help brake. Lincoln traffic, Cherokee 09 or Whiskey, clear of 33, Lincoln. Make a radio call saying that we're clear of the runway. And then once we get past the hold short line, that's when we're going to go ahead and uh, stop and clean up the airplane. Okay, so bring it back to 1,000 RPM. After landing flow, let's get the strobes, fuel pump, landing light off, lean the mixture, raise the flaps, and set the trim for takeoff. Also, make sure you turn off the carb heat. Set your transponder to 1200 and turn off the pitot heat if you're using that. Then you just you, you <coughs> look at your after landing checklist. Make sure you did all those items. Then you say after landing checklist complete, and that's it. Open the window. Pop open the door, because in the summertime it gets really hot. And for the sake of time, we're just going to park at one of the hangars straight ahead. Looking both ways for traffic. We're on Taxiway Golf, crossing Taxiway Alpha. That was a good flight lesson today. The sun is starting to make its way down on the horizon. So there's three steps to shutting down the engine with most of these types of aircraft. You want to make sure you turn the avionics off either with that avionics master switch or turning them all off individually, whatever it is you have to do. And then you ground the magnetos, or you check the grounding of the magnetos. So avionics off. Check the grounding of the magnetos, key off to both. And you hear the engine wants to quit momentarily. When you do that, that's because it's not getting the spark anymore. And so if the engine does not quit when you go to off, it means you have a hot magneto which means the engine could start or deliver a spark if you pull the prop through. Then we shut down the engine just by removing the fuel, killing the mixture. Once the prop stops, master off, key off and out up on the dash. Take out the headset, close the window, we'll get out of the airplane, yoke back into the right, wrap the seat belt around it, log your hobs and tack time, hop out of the airplane, and then uh, if we're at a parking spot, you know, we'll get out of the airplane, close the door, put the pedo cover on, you put the tie downs, wheel chocks if you have them, and we already have our control lock on, and you see I left that beacon on, and you see we don't see the beacon light is on, which means we got the master switch off, which means we're not going to drain the battery. Alright, we'll see you in the next lesson.